In this video, we're gonna go over how I'm using Jobber in my snow removal business to optimize the back office operations, specifically for things like setting up a customer, setting up a recurring job, tracking the amount of visits throughout the month, setting up that customer's profile to automatically send invoices at the end of the month, and checking a box that will give you the option to automatically charge the customer's card. Look, this will save you hours and hours of time each week if you follow the steps in this video. Let's dive into the video. Okay, we're in the Jobber app right now, and as I mentioned in the intro of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a customer for a snow removal job. To provide some context, this is a residential customer. We service them on an as-needed basis. Our trucks go out on a three inch snow trigger. So that means whenever three inches of snow accumulates, we go out and plow. So we need to be able to set it up to where we don't have an automatic visit created. We need to set up a customer to where we create a job. We need to be able to track the amount of visits. We need the software to be able to log that visit in the system so that at the end of the month, when we send the invoice, we know exactly how many visits to invoice that customer for. Sounds straightforward, right? If it's still confusing, just stick around. I'll show you. Let's dive into it. Okay, so let's go to clients. Viewers, if you were watching this and you used my setup instructions in the video I created about using Jobber in your home service business, you can click that video right here if you haven't watched it yet. If you use the lead capture form on your website to capture the customer's information, it's already going to be in here. So I can seamlessly go in here. I can say, okay, I sent them a quote for $55 per plow. We're going to click this button, convert to job. I'm gonna make sure the salesperson is correct. I did the sale. I'm going to choose the service project category. This allows us to track our metrics uh, related to each specific service category. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click recurring job. I want this job to start on the 30th. We're gonna get some snow this weekend. So I need to make sure and track the visit duration. Let's change it to the end of our snow year. So we're at January, so let's go March, April. So let's just put four in there. That way this job will be open until May 29th. Our contracts only go until the end of April. So uh, this allows us to track this job all the way through our contract. I'm going to assign this to myself. Um, and we need to choose this box. This is super important for snow removal. We need to choose as needed. We won't prompt you, okay? Now, when you choose that, you're going to rem you're going to uh, eliminate the ability to choose a time. And why is that? Because you have to manually tell the system that you're going out to plow whenever you plow snow. Okay. This isn't like lawn care where you can say, Hey, we are showing up every week on Thursday at your property. It just doesn't work like that in snow. You have to mobilize your equipment and your plow trucks on the days that it snows, right? So you need to set up the system in a way that allows you to tell the system when you're going out. And I'm gonna go over all that here shortly with you how to do that if you stick around and watch the whole video. The next thing we want to do is set up invoicing and automatic payments, all right? How do you want to invoice? We want to invoice per visit. In our business, we bill for this customer $55 every time we go out and plow when three inches or more of snowfall happens. So we want to track every time that we go out. That's why we're choosing this button. When do you want to invoice? I like to do monthly on the last day of the month. And the reason being is because I think there are a lot of business professionals or consultants who might say, you need an invoice after each visit is completed. But I think there's a certain level of, like we don't want to just like consistently bombard our customers like every time we invoice. I think it's a much better customer experience to just send one invoice at the end of the month. Yes, your cash flow will take a hit, but I think it's a better uh, experience. Also, you as a business owner, you kind of cut down on communication, right? So if I'm invoicing after every visit, I'm likely gonna get a reply from some of my customers. That's more emails I gotta answer. It's like, let's just cut that down and do it once a month. That's my perspective, at least as of right now. So that's how I set it up. Monthly on the last day of the month. But what I want to do is I want to get paid automatically. And I want to request a payment method on file. So this customer 
whenever I save this job is going to get an email from Jobber prompting them to add their payment method to our system. Now, the way that we have this set up, once again, it's going to track every time that we go out on three inches or more, and I'll show you how to set that up here shortly, I promise. And then at the end of the month, it's automatically going to bill that customer for how many visits we went out that month. Super seamless. It's great. It cuts down on so much back office time for you as a business owner. Okay, let's review our line items. We want to make sure snow plowing, quantity, unit price, 55. Okay, if we set our per plow visit, excuse me, our per plow price here, this means that every time we go and plow this driveway, it's going to log in the system that we need to charge this customer $55. Let's say you go out 10 times in a month. That would be a lot, but for sake of round numbers, 10 visits per month, $55 per visit equals $550 for that month. If you have this box checked, Jobber is going to automatically send an invoice for $550 at the end of the month. And if the customer has a payment method on file, it's going to automatically charge their card and then just send them a receipt. This is what people in our day and age expect. And they also want, they don't want to have to get an invoice. They don't want to have to go write a check and put it in the mail. Think about all the time that that takes for the customer. And then for you as a business owner, you have to go, you know, follow up with the customer. Hey, did you get my invoice? Did you get the check in the mail? I'm going to drive to the post office and pick up the check. And then I'm going to deposit all these checks. Think if you had like 30 or 300 of those checks to do, it'd be an absolute nightmare. Jobber can manage this for you. So this is why I'm a big proponent of Jobber. Once again, if you have not uh, already claimed your free trial with Jobber, use this link right here. We've developed a partnership through the owner ops podcast and jobber is offering our listeners a free trial plus 20 percent off your first six months the software we get a small commission for it but i've got a ton of equipment to pay off so you have my word that i'm going to take this commission check if you decide to sign up and i'm just going to pay off my skid steer with it okay we're going to save this job what we're also going to do is we're going to save an email booking confirmation. I like to send, hi, David. I'm doing all this in real time, guys. This is a real customer. Okay, so once we've sent that email, they are going to be prompted to add their payment method. That's all you need to do. The only thing that you may need to do is follow up with them to make sure that they understand kind of the terms of how you're going to be billing them. I love including in that email a notification just about how we're going to track our visits, how you're going to be billed, and confirming that they will receive a receipt at the end of each month so that they can review and should they have any questions, they can reach out, okay? That's how you set up a customer for recurring plow services. So we're going to move into how to create the visits on plow day and it's like two minutes or less. So. On plow day, let's say you get three inches of snow. What we do is we go in here to our schedule. You would click more actions. You would click visits. So create new visits. You're going to see all of your recurring plow customers. And you're also going to see a map associated with it. If you've been tracking this correctly, you can keep this filter as with no incomplete visits before today, all right? Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to double check the amount of clients you have. If you do not check off the visits as complete in a later step here, which I'll cover in the video, they will not show up here with this filter. But for right now, all you would need to do to log a visit, let's say it's three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning and you're about to go out. It's snowed three inches. We'll select all. We'll do 32 selected, start date for whatever day you're going out, all right? So January 30th, and then you would assign it to that plow person, that person on your team. Then you would click, like, let's make some visits. I'm not going to do this because when I create visits, it emails our customers that, hey, we are going out today. <laughs> we are going to be plowing today so that it lets them know ahead of time that, at some point today, our plow truck will be there 
This is really nice because it lets customers know that they need to move their cars out of the parking spots. So we're gonna go back to settings. We're going to go to client communication. We are going to do emails and text. What we want to do is filter this visit reminder. You can see I have it turned off for the purposes of this video so I can show you where to click it on. Automatically notifies a client about an upcoming visit. So what we want to do is turn that on we're going to edit this. What I want to do is send the reminder the same day as the appointment by email at 6 a.m. So as long as I create my visits before 6 a.m., which on a plow day, I'm out early anyways, it's going to send them this email. Hi, insert client name, friendly notification from the Bear Claw team that we have you on the snow plowing schedule today. Click the link below to view your appointment. Sincerely, let's see. Please, let's do this. Please help us by removing any vehicles in areas you would like plowed today. Okay. So you'll see this preview right here. Hi, Miss Natasha Wheeler. I think that's just a, uh, placeholder name, just a friendly notification from the Bear Claw team that we have you on the snow plowing schedule today. Please help us out by removing any vehicles in, in areas you would like plowed today. And then they can view the appointment. Then they have our contact information and then you'll hit save. You can see in January, we had one visit, two visit, three visit, four visit. Okay. So at the end of this month, we have a invoicing reminder and it's set up as automatically build. So it will just automatically tally one, two, three, four, four snow plowing visits. We have this person set up as 50. So it's automatically going to bill this person hundred dollars. And it makes it very easy for you at the end of the month to do billing. So these are some reasons why I love jobber for residential snow plowing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm available. I love Jobber and I love being a Jobber ambassador. So use the email below if you want to get some 1v1 training. I'm happy to make sure that your business is set up well. Happy to answer questions that you have. If you do have specific questions, just post them in the comments below. And once again, if you haven't signed up for the free trial yet, you can use this link right here. Claim your free trial and then for owner ops podcast listeners or our youtube video watchers you're going to get 20 percent off whatever plan you choose for the first six months thanks again for watching don't forget work hard do your best never settle for less we'll see you guys in the next video